Hey guys, it's me, popular YouTuber. We're gonna be looking at the Hawaii Part 2 iceberg. Um, so if you clicked on this video, you likely know what Hawaii Part 2 is. But if not, um, you should listen to it. It's 10, 10 out of 10. Amazing album. Anyways, um, on with the video. Alright, so, first on the list, up here, Sweet Dream in C Major. Everyone's heard this song. E yes, everyone. Um, as you can see, there's only 20 million people on this earth right now, and everyone has listened to it once. So, yeah, that's, th that's pretty much, pretty much it for that one. Um, it's a bop. Not gonna lie. Uh, next we have Miracle Musical, and basically what that is, is it's the artist's name, but it's translated. So yeah, um, if you didn't know that, now you do. Uh, next is The Mind Electric. Uh, this is another song from the album. It's pretty good. It starts off backwards, and then goes forwards, you know? So, yeah. All right, so that has been the first layer, surface layer. Um, next up, we have Joe Hawley. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. He basically created this album. He was the mastermind behind this whole thing. And he's also part of Tally Hall, if you did not know that, uh, which you probably did. But yeah, to the right, we have Variations on a Cloud, of course. If you have Spotify or probably Apple Music too, this is another song that they released. And it's not part of the album Hawaii Part 2, but it's the only other single that they've released. So... And yeah, it's a bop too. And if you haven't listened to it, I highly recommend it. Also 10 out of 10. So next, we've got Below the Surface. So first on the list here, we have Hawaii Part 2. Now you may be wondering. Isn't that just the name of the album? That's where you're wrong, actually. It's the name of a different album that the same artist released, uh, Miracle Musical. But this one is only available on Bandcamp. And basically what this one is, is it is a 8-bit version of the album. And I also highly recommend listening to this. It's very good, and um, more people need to listen to it. So jumping down from that one, we have the shape is called Stella Octangola. I don't think I'm saying that right. Stella Octangula. That is the shape that appears on the moon of the Hawaii Part 2 cover. And it's very faint, but you can barely see it, but it's still there. And it's just basically one of the symbols that they use. It's also on their Bandcamp page, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think there's a bunch of significance to it. I think it's just something that's basically part of their brand, maybe. Um, I could be mistaken, though. Uh, feel free to yell at me if I'm wrong. Next up is Inside the Mind of Simon. You probably don't know what this is referring to, but you can find out pretty easily that this is basically just the demo or the original recording of the Mind Electric. Uh, it's the non-finished version. And uh, there's a few differences. Um, it's a little bit rougher sounding. I think there's some lyrical differences, um, but otherwise it's got pretty much the same uh, type of melody. It's got a lot of similarities. And it's just the unpolished version of the Mind Electric. And I also recommend giving this a listen. It, uh, it's pretty good, especially if you like the Mind Electric a lot. Uh, the main difference is this one also doesn't have a backwards part. That's what they added later on in the Mind Electric. Next on the list, I'm kind of jumping around here. I know I started from the right and going to the left, but oh well, who's gonna stop me? So next is the Labyrinth game. Uh, this is basically something that was released by Miracle Musical, 
Uh, it was a game that you could play, um, I think it was on the browser or something. It's not available anymore, sadly, but you can still find clips from it on YouTube of the gameplay. And it's just a simple game that goes along with basically the lore of the musical. But yeah, other than that, uh, there's not much to it. It's just a cool thing that they added, but unfortunately it's not available anymore, so that's a bit sad. Alright, so moving down a layer, we have Hawaii Part 2, Part 2. This might sound a bit strange, but it's also another thing from Bandcamp. You can look for it and even buy it on Bandcamp if you'd like. It's basically just a bunch of demos that they used to create Hawaii Part 2. It's nothing really special, but there's some instrumentals if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's some extra bonus stuff on there. It's really good, I highly recommend listening to it. Alright, so next on the list is Sunkissed Hawaii, and this is a song, uh, not by Miracle Musical, but it's something that they sampled for The Mind Electric, and you can hear it, um, I'll, I'll play a clip right here. They sampled a small part of it, and they used it in the Mind Electric, which I thought was really interesting. But other than that, that's basically all it is. It's just a sample of a different song, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Next up is the Stranded Lullaby alternate versions. Now, uh, we talked about this a bit earlier with the Hawaii Part 2 Part 2. It's in this album that you can find different versions and demos of the songs. And for this song specifically, there's four different versions, uh, not including the sound effects, but uh, there's four different versions, uh, Demo, Demo 2, Demo 3, and Ghost. So that is pretty interesting. The next one is the White Ball Solo Demo. It says do not research. I think the reason why they said that is because honestly, it doesn't sound that great. But basically what it is, is it's the demo for the White Ball song, but it's like really distorted and the vocals aren't the best. I'll, I'll show you what I mean right now. It's kind of, it's kind of funny. Where one game is So we finally made it to the last layer, and the first thing I'm going to tackle is the School of Remembering. That is referring to a Reddit post made about 10 months ago uh, that's talking about how Hawaii Part 2 has a lot of similarities to a cult, and it's very interesting the whole thing reading through the Reddit post in the comments, and they uh, link a bunch of stuff. I'll link the Reddit post in the description, and I highly re recommend you check it out if you'd like. But it's basically saying that it has a lot of similarities to this cult, and a lot of the verses have similarities to this cult. So it's very interesting, and I'll link it in the description again. So the next part I'm going to go over is listening to Sweet Dream in C Major causes schizophrenia. Now the original poster of the Reddit thread doesn't even know themselves how they figured it out, they just said they heard it a long time ago. Now I searched the internet far and wide for this, not really, just a few Google searches, but what I did find was this post in 2012 on uh, Twitter, and it was asking a fan account of Tally Hall if the first part of The Mind Electric was just the second part in, of the song in reverse, and they replied, it is just about the same, main difference being the lack of schizophrenia going on, now that could have been what they were referring to and they just misremembered. Now another thing I did find was a Tumblr post that interviewed the Radiographers, which is a very small band, and they basically said that one of their huge influences was Hawaii Part 2, and they also mentioned in that interview that they couldn't sleep due to their schizophrenia, and that's how they came up with one of the verses for their songs. And the original poster might have grouped these together since it mentions both Hawaii Part 2 and Schizophrenia in the same post, but I'm not really sure. It could be something very different. Now the next thing I'm going to go over is the 12th song, 
Now this is not part of the album, technically, but it is on Miracle Musical's YouTube channel, and it's a cover of Candle on the Water. So they have a lighthouse on the cover photo of the cover of Candle on the Water, which is a reference to that movie. And it's really good, I highly recommend you check it out. Now moving on to the cult recruitment tactic. This is the same thing as the School of Remembering, and this was also brought up by the original poster. They admitted that the cult recruitment tactic in the School of Remembering, that's basically just the one uh, theory. And um, again, it's really interesting. I think I have it linked in the description below, so you can check that post out and yeah. So moving on to Ghost, which is the last one, we already kind of went over this, but basically what Ghost is, is it's another variation of Stranded Lullaby, and it's available to listen to on bandcamp.com, and it's in Hawaii Part 2, Part 2. And there's also a YouTube video that you can watch that has the song in it, so it's a really good variation, and I like it a lot. But you can decide for yourself, you can look it up. Uh, yeah, it's really good. So yeah, that's been it. That's been the Hawaii Part 2 Iceberg. I hope you've learned something. Maybe you already knew everything. If you did, comment and let me know. Yell at me, maybe? I don't know. That would be fun. I... <laughs> also, huge shout out to the Conman1897 for posting this on Reddit. I'll link that Reddit post below. And yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>